just need to be consistent with it. Thanks for sticking around. For this video, we're gonna be doing waypoints. Now, there's a few things that I need to make sure you understand about waypoints. Uh, number one, there's three things that you need to establish when you set up a waypoint. Number one, the first thing is your position. So you wanna have your gimbal down and see where you are pinpointed on the earth. The second thing you need to do is your yaw. You need to make sure that your yaw points you in the direction you want the camera to look as it's going around to the waypoint. And you'll understand that a little bit more later. Then the third thing that you need is your altitude. So you need to make sure you have your uh, altitude set. So I'm gonna go ahead and start recording on the drone. I'm gonna get the drone up and over to the first waypoint and then I'll pick things back up there. It is just a beautiful day to be going flying. So before I actually show you recording a, a waypoint on the screen here, what I did uh, right now I am set up i have my drone over my waypoint one i'm going to go ahead and set my altitude to 100. all right 100 good enough then bring my gimbal up using the scroll bar and i'm going to find the angle that i want my drone to be looking when it records the waypoint. So I've got my three things now. My pinpoint, my altitude, and my yaw angle. So we go into flight modes, we go over to waypoints. We have favorite missions or new mission. Favorite mission is something that you may have already created the, the waypoints and you're just going back and rerunning those. Uh, new mission is when you start from scratch and you actually have a or starting a brand new waypoint mission so we're going to click new mission now we are at the place where i want the drone to be i have my angle my height so i'm going to go ahead and hit c1 and that you can see now on the screen has the first waypoint recorded so now what i'm going to do is uh, go ahead i'm going to maneuver over to my second waypoint and I'll be right back with that. So I've already maneuvered to the second waypoint I have my pinpoint, my yaw, and I set my altitude for 200. So I'm gonna go ahead and record that waypoint. So I, you can see on the screen now, I have two waypoints. So let's go ahead and maneuver over to the third waypoint. So I'm now at my third waypoint. I have my positioning. Now I'm going to bring my gimbal up. And locate my angle. Got my angle. And then I am going to drop this one back down to 100 feet. All right, we're at 100 feet. So now you can see I have my three points and my pinpoint, 
I have my angle, y'all, and I have my height. So I'm going to go ahead and record the third waypoint. So I now have three waypoints recorded. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my other two set up real quick here, and then I will be back. All right, waypoint four, have all three on position, my yaw, and I have my height. So record three, or re four, sorry, that was waypoint four. Okay, at waypoint five, have my angle, position, and height. I'm going up to the maximum height that I can go. Record C5. All right. So now, I have all my waypoints recorded. I have all five of my waypoints. So what I'm going to do now is finish up recording uh, or setting up the waypoint say get it saved and then go ahead and start running it so let's see here now that you have all five waypoints you click done and then that brings up your uh, different modes that you can go in what the drone does after it's finished and then your speed so we're just gonna go we're gonna run all three of these modes one time and then I'm going to to uh, come back and show you a couple things that you can do with them. So let's get around 20 miles per hour. Okay, leave it on adjustable heading and I'm going to have it just hover when it finishes. So we click apply. Now, <clears throat> if it was doing return to home, this is where you set your height. Uh, altitude. Uh, I have it set for 50 min meters, so I'm above 150 feet in order to avoid obstacles around here and everything like that. So 50 meters is good for me. Click apply. Now it says aircraft for too far from start point. The reason that is, is it's not exactly at the start point. So you want to just go ahead and click OK. And you'll see on the screen here, it loads the waypoints. And then it go ahead and sends it off. So now we are flying the waypoints and you'll see on the screen here that it is going to position. That's the first waypoint. And then it is going to get my angle set up and my altitude setup. All right. Now also, you do wanna adjust your gimbal to where you want the gimbal to actually be on your viewpoint. And there we go now. It has started the waypoint, and you can see on adjustable heading, what it is going to do is, is going to fly that route, and it is going to maneuver the pitch or the, the yaw rate so it keeps the camera aimed at that angle that you, uh, you set at each waypoint. So doing it in adjustable heading, 
it controls everything except for speed and that speed you can control by speeding it up and reversing it you can actually turn it into reverse and then have it go uh, around you can adjust your angle if you're in uh, route length or free you can adjust your angle and reshoot an example of the same viewpoint now we're flying on up through there rather quickly because we are approaching waypoint five Not the best example. Really? Alright, we are at the end point. Alright. So now, there is adjustable heading. One. So now, I'm going to go into my flight modes. Waypoint. Now this time, you click on favorite mission. And it gives you them by date. I'm going to do the one up at the top. And then I'm going to click apply. Now here, I'm going to change it over to route length heading. And leave it at hover. Set my speed up there. And then I am going to click apply. 50 is fine. Click apply. Okay. Now. The drone will, the waypoints are loaded and the drone is going to go and fly over to waypoint one and get set up to go ahead and start. Let me bring the map up here, hide that, and you can see on the screen here that, yes, it's running at 390 <laughs> feet in the air, but it will adjust it here. Now it's arrived at uh, the first waypoint and you can see it is also uh, dropping the altitude down. And once we get the two, or what was it? I started at 150? No, I started out at 100 here. Okay, wow, it's dropping quite a bit. All right, now it has started the waypoint and you can watch it go along the map here, but now it has trained that angle and you'll notice in the view screen, it's not changing the angle until it actually reaches that waypoint. At that point, that's when it will change the angle. It's not continually maneuvering the angle and adjusting your angle of your gimbal in order to keep a particular uh, angle of your, your drone and your gimbal. All right, we're going around route or waypoint three. Now we are flying over to waypoint four. You can see it's adjusting altitude. And there we go. We are at waypoint four. And it is giving me a low battery warning. I figured that would happen. But anyway, um, almost at waypoint five. And you can see it's climbing and it maintained that angle the whole way through just adjusting it to at each waypoint all right maximum flight altitude reached all right go arrived at endpoint and it is coming home all right so uh there you go there is route length so I am going to pause out here for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and get a new battery in the drone, let it land.
Now I have the drone just up in the air right now. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on my waypoints, favorite missions. Gonna go ahead and just get the drone flying over to the first one with a, ooh, not route length, free. Hover, 20 mile an hour, apply, apply. Okay, waypoints are loaded. It's gonna hit altitude first and then fly over to the waypoint one and go ahead and start this waypoint. Now we're doing this one in free. This one is in order to show you how the camera will move while you're doing this particular waypoint, which basically is nothing. It holds that angle and keeps that angle straight the whole entire time. So you don't have any motion by it as it is flying. Now I'm thinking about it. Adjust my gimbal here a little bit. And you can see it's been flying this one for a few seconds now. And it has one angle and it is going to maintain that angle. Now it's making adjustments in altitude and everything, but it is not adjusting the angle of the drone. So we are in between four and five. We're just about done. Maximum flight altitude reached. All right. So we reached the last waypoint. And what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to show you doing a reverse. Now, um, for this, I'm going to use the same waypoints, and I'm using uh, route length to do it. Now, the thing to remember about route length is it is like you're driving a car around a hilly road. It is uh, you're in the first person view of being behind the wheel and driving the car. When you go and you adjust the angle, on it it's like you are then rotating your head and looking out the window in a different direction so that is what is really kind of good about route link is you can then once it starts you have to wait until the waypoint mission starts and then you get it going and you turn it in reverse you turn your camera around with the yaw and you get a good reverse angle looking. And then you use your speed control and reverse it back to the first waypoint and rerun the video. And it looks like you're actually looking out the back window of a car. So that's why uh, I'm doing this video here. I'm just gonna let it run. And I'm also gonna kinda summarize everything that you need for waypoint. So I'll be right back in a second. First, remember the three aspects that you need to set at each waypoint. Altitude, yaw angle of the drone with the camera facing forward, and placement of the drone in the air in relation to the earth in order to pinpoint the drone horizontally. And don't forget, C1 records waypoints. It will not move your gimbal up and down. Second, let's look at what controls you have while the mission is being completed. In all three modes, you have control of speed forward and reverse, and you also have control of the gimbal up and down movement. Gimbal direction is controllable in both route length and in free mode, meaning you control the direction, the 
the camera faces while the mission is being flown. Now let's discuss each mode. Adjustable heading virtually takes total control over the drone, except for speed and gimbal up and down. So precision when you're setting up your waypoint, it's well, it's more important. And if you're trying to get a viewpoint that's similar to like a uh, point of interest would be, instead of doing it in a circular pattern, you're trying to do it more in a square pattern, you have to be more precise with how you set up that yaw. Now, if you're looking to create an encompassing area of a large place, such as a park, set up the four corners and then look diagonally from each waypoint and you will get a great encompassing view as you run around the waypoint. And you get some great B-roll footage or maybe even some main footage if that's what you're looking for. Now in free mode, the only control the mission has over the drone is the direction and altitude of the drone's flight. So when it starts the mission, it will keep the directional heading of the camera whatever direction it was. So if you have that set at exactly true north, as it's flying around, it's rotating the drone on that axis and maintaining that exact angle with the drone as it's flying in all directions. Now, of course, you have the ability to change this direction, but you have to do it manually with the sticks on the RC. I can see trying to use that to get cinematic footage, but by all means, I need better <laughs> gimbal and flight controls before I can really do that. Now I feel in route link mode, well, this one is more versatile. It's more versatile in how you control the drone and the camera during the waypoint mission. You can set the waypoints to maneuver the camera on the yaw angle during the mission. You'll also have the ability to tweak it or change it during the mission and get different camera angles and viewpoints. You can easily create this reverse video that I'm showing you right now and have good video footage for videos and also for B-roll. In the end, are the waypoints on the Phantom worth the effort that is required to set them up? Are you capable of getting good quality footage to use in videos with one of these methods? I feel the answer to both of these questions is yes. With practice, with planning, determination, I feel I can get great Woody video that would be useful in many ways in B-roll or in main film. Yes, some feel waypoints is cheating. Learn to fly your drone, silly, it's not a toy. Yes, I can agree with that. But for those that don't have the ability, such as myself, it gives me a way to use my drone in a way that I can do more cinematic footage. It has also shown me a lot about how a drone maneuvers. And with that knowledge, I, I can easily translate that into how I control the sticks on the RC. And therefore, teaching me more about being able to do complicated maneuvers by hand, rather than using flight modes to control the drone. So there you go. That is waypoints on the Phantom 4 Pro V2. You will make up your mind whether they're useful to you or not. Do you want to go through the setup process to get a better video than you can do freestyle? You may also find that you can learn more about how a drone operates and therefore translate that into how you control your drone and your camera. Least of all, if you own a Phantom, by all means, give them a look and see if you can do something better with your drone. Well, I hope you have learned some new things as I have in making this and you're able to take them and use them in your own practice of flying. So if you're a new viewer, I do appreciate you coming by. Go ahead, check out the videos on the channel. And if you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for a notification of future videos. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. I appreciate you coming along on this adventure with me with my drone, and please keep on coming back. So for now, I hope life is treating you well, and by all means, please take care.